I decided today to do this presentation because it is one of those areas in Upper Key Stage 2 where children have tricks and rules and, dare I say, songs that go alongside this misunderstanding. Um, I wouldn't even call it a misconception, it's just not taught generally. So why flip the divisor and multiply when dividing? Okay, so the first thing I would want to have a think about is what is it that you remember yourself from primary school or maybe the beginning of secondary school about how you were taught to divide fractions? Can anyone remember anything they were told, any rules they had, any songs they knew, anything at all? No. 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 You don't remember anything? That's that's right, that's excellent actually. I say that's excellent. Yeah, flip it and multiply it. Absolutely. Literally, flip it, multiply it, you get the right answer. Yes, that's about as much as we get. Um, a number of people, including friends of mine, who I say, when they actually want to talk to me about maths, that is, um, why do you do this in primary school? They said, I have forgotten all about that. I learned nothing regarding fractions because it was all rules and regulations. Um, I was teaching a group of children last week who knew a song for it. Brilliant. So much better, isn't it? But could not tell me how anything worked. Going back to what the children actually had when they were in year four and year three, they would have built, hopefully, um, a fraction wall, not just being given this information as it stands. Um, and the children in year four would be looking at what improper fractions look like and mixed numbers. So they may well have had two of these um, fraction walls next to each other so you could see how many halves are in two, how many thirds are in two, how many, et cetera, et cetera. So building up the fraction wall in whole numbers so they can see the relationship and how that um, grows in a multiplicative way. Um, and then in year five, going back a little bit again, they had to divide a fraction by a whole number. So for example, they might have had a half divided by two. So dividing that into two further groups. These are the diagrams you might have. So you start very nicely with the one and the unit fraction. And then you build up that information using whole numbers, but still with unit fractions. OK, so you can use some multiplication to actually get from here to here, from here to here, from here to here to actually get down. And all of this takes time and conversation with children. These two diagrams, these two questions, what is the same, what is different? Similarly with the middle two, similarly with the far questions. Okay, now it starts to get a little bit harder. Okay, so this time we are going to do a whole number divided by a proper fraction, but not a unit fraction. Okay, so I'm going to, I will read this out. You will need five rectangular strips and you are going to have to do it. <laughs> Yeah, you really need a massively deep understanding before you even go anywhere near this. And you can I cannot see how I could have explained that without all of these diagrams and you doing the physical fractions. How do you show that understanding without physically doing it, drawing it and talking about it? You can't, you have to learn a rule or a song. These are some examples from children that I did the work with. They were making sense of it. They had light bulb moments, these children, who sang the song to me at the beginning of the session. And when I said, brilliant, can you explain that to me? No, I can't explain that to you. That's the song. This is Quiz and Air Rods. This is what I loved, that the next child used Numicon to prove it. Yeah. We went on beyond this to then have a look at what those fractions are as improper, what the quotients are as improper fractions, or the answer is as improper fractions, and actually how we could then relate that back. But once they'd started getting this, they just wanted more and more and more and more examples so they could prove it to themselves that this actually really worked, and it wasn't just the song. And if they didn't remember the song, it didn't matter because they have 
constructed their own understanding of how you flip that, why you flip the divisor.